Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Um, I was experimenting with my makeup so it's a little bolder than what I normally have when I'm on here. Um, definitely different colors than I normally am used to. Today's video is going to be a continuation of my 30 in 30 series. Um, this is going to be 30 liquid lipsticks that I used in April, which it took me a while to get this filmed just because this, these take a little while um, to film. So I am working on that today and I will get this up as soon as possible. It probably won't get up. It will get up sometime in June. So hopefully you will still enjoy this. Um, the colors are, a lot of them are neutrals because most of the time I was doing, um, wearing them to work. So I was trying to look a little bit, you know, professional, not crazy with my makeup. Um, I do have some colors in here that I wore on the weekends though, so you'll see those too. So if you're interested in seeing my opinions on 30 different liquid lipsticks, just keep watching. I will be looking down quite a bit because my little calendar, it kind of tells me what each um, liquid lipstick is and my thoughts on it. So the first one I used was from Ciate London. It's a liquid velvet and it is in the color pin up and I've repositioned my camera so I'm trying to get used to where my lens is and it is quite a dark color I will swatch it um, I will have to stop sw and do swatches wipe them off quite a bit I did like this formula I think it was very nice um, I don't know if it's my favorite formula of all time but I did think it was very nice um, the next one I got was an ultra matte lip from ColourPop times Hello Kitty so that's the cute little packaging on it. Um, and this is in the color Mimi, which was much darker than what I was expecting when I ordered it online. That's what I've kind of found with ColourPop is that the colors aren't exactly always true. So that's the color. So it's a much more of a, like a kind of almost a purple color than what I was expecting. I was expecting more of like a fuchsia E color. Um, so I did like this formula. I think ColourPop is a good formula, especially for the price. Um, it's a great deal. One that I wasn't as impressed with was one of the liquid cat suits. This is from Wet n Wild. Um, and this is in the color Nudist Peach. And these formulas are okay. Um, I don't think they're the best formulas. They're a little patchy. Um, you can see that Hopefully you can see that it doesn't go on evenly, so I had to double swatch it in part of it. They're okay. I mean, they're a good price, but I think for the same price, I would go with the ColourPop. They're a much better product. They wear better on the lips. They aren't as drying. So definitely, I think ColourPop is better than Liquid Cat Suit, even though it's easier to find in a lot of cases. Um, and the next one I got was a mini, which was a free gift from Sephora. And this is um, Urban Decay, their liquid lipstick, Vice Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in the color Amulet. And this is probably one of my favorite. It's slightly metalized, not very much at all, um, but it wears really well. It lasted a very very long time and I just I think the color is really nice it's a great everyday color um, so I would definitely recommend looking into the liquid lipsticks from Urban Decay this next one that I got is a vivid matte liquid by Maybelline and it is in the color nude flush and I did not like this formula I was expecting it to dry down like because um, it's a matte color but it didn't dry down. So it's more like the um, satin lips from ColourPop, if you're familiar with those. I mean, it was a pretty color, but I was expecting, I wanted something long lasting, and that was definitely not a long lasting color. Um, this next one definitely is, and it's the color I'm wearing on my lips right now. It is Smashbox. This is the um, Always On Liquid Lipsticks, and this is in the shade Babe Alert. And as I said, I really like this. They also have a very different applicator. If you can see that, it has like a little um, scoop in the middle so that you can wear, you can get just enough for your lips, for both lips. So that's what this color is swatched. It is pretty similar to the Maybelline, but I really like this. This is probably my favorite color because it's a very neutral, but it um, still gives you some color, but it's not like in your face and overbearing. Um, and the next formula is my favorite formula that I have tried so far with liquid lipsticks. And this is the Tartiste 
lip paint from Tarte. Um, this is just one of the little minis. Now I found that they have a couple different formulas. So this is the more moussey formula. They have a more liquidy formula as well. And I like the more moussey formula. Um, and it smells a little bit like peppermint. And that's what this is. This is in the shade Manny. And I, I really love, I love this formula. I have so many of them because when they went on sale after Christmas, I bought all the little gift sets that had all the sample sizes in them. The next one I have is from ColourPop and it's an ultra satin lip. So I decided I was trying to get a variety of different formulas. And this is in the color Chandelier. And if you want something that isn't going to be like super long lasting, this is one. Um, it, it definitely is not transfer proof. I think um, like the liquid or the ultra matte that's up here, that's much more long lasting and it's not going to be transfer. It's not going to transfer, but the satin lips definitely will. I think this is a really pretty color. I was really glad that I got it. I have gotten um, some other shades recently, which I'll be doing um, kind of a collective haul and throwing those in there. And I really like the color Dopey as well. I think that was a satin. I have to check. Um, anyway, I'm really impressed with ColourPop. Yes, you have to pay shipping and it takes a few, you know, it takes maybe a week to get them in. But right now when I'm filming this, they're having their birthday sale. So they have free shipping or you have to spend $30. So I think it's a good deal, especially because for the price, like $6 for a liquid lipstick as opposed to 20. Some of these are $28, $30, um, definitely worth it. Um, speaking of one that's more expensive, this is one of the Kat Von D's. This is in the color Plath, which I got because Sylvia Plath is like my favorite poet. And so when there was a shade named after her, I had to get it. Um, and it is this kind of this darky, brick red and I think this is the shade I was wearing I got a lot of compliments in one of my um, past videos and I'm pretty sure that's the shade that I was wearing because I was filming I filmed it while I was um, doing this 21 days or 30 days 30 and 30 um, so I guess I love the Kat Von D I have a couple different shades in it and like I said I got this one this is not a color I normally would gravitate towards or buy but I got it because it was Sylvia, it was named after Sylvia Plath. Um, the next one I got is a melted matte from Too Faced. This is in the shade Lady Balls. Um, this is just a really nice bright red, very pretty. It's kind of a blue toned red. So it's it was super flattering, just really pretty. Good long lasting formula on this one too. I do um, like the melted matte formula. Um, some of the other ones I have had have not been as impressed. I haven't been as impressed with, um, but I do like the melted matte and especially you'll see a couple of the shade. There's another shade that I'll have and then I'll mention a couple more at that point. Um, the next one I tried is another one of the Wet n Wild liquid cat suits and this is in the shade um, Rebel Rose and same thing. They aren't the longest lasting formulas. They're kind of patchy. Um, they're definitely not my least favorite liquid lipstick, but they're definitely not my favorite. Um, I think they're just okay. Um, I probably wouldn't buy any more, and actually I have one that I'm planning to um, either pass on or put in a giveaway because it's just not my favorite, and I know other people really, really love it. Um, so I'd rather have them use it. So I'm gonna actually wipe off my swatches, and then I will be right back. And I am back. Some of those took quite a bit to get off actually, which is pretty impressive. So um, especially, it was mostly the ColourPop. They're really, they stick on there really well. Um, the next one that, that I tried out, which is an interesting formula, is the NARS. Um, this is the, oh my gosh, um, Velvet Lip Glide. I had to think about what the name was. And this is in the color Bound. Um, I got this one as a sample. I think this came in my Sephora Play, but I've gotten another one of it since in um, their Nude Lips. Nude lips. Uh, it's a nice formula. It is not a long lasting formula. It is very, like, very creamy though. So I do like it. It's not my favorite. Um, I probably wouldn't buy a full size, but I do think it's a beautiful color. I do like the formula um, on occasion. 
but it's not like if you're going to work and you don't want to retouch your lips, that's definitely not this type of um, formula to go for. Um, nor is this. This is probably my least favorite of the entire month. This is the worst liquid lipstick I have tried. Um, it is the Dirty Little Secrets um, Matte Lipstick, and this is in the shade Blush. And this is the weirdest formula. Um, it, it's very thin, so that's what it looks like. I went over it like three or four times to get it to build up that much. But it melts on your lips, and it just becomes this sticky, gooey mess, and I just can't stand it. Um, I tried it, my first time I used it, I put on a lip gloss over the top because it was, I went like this with my lips after like 15 minutes and it still wasn't dry so then it pulled off in places and I was like, well that was weird. So I put some gloss over it because I didn't want to put another layer on it. And that did not help. It just basically became this goo and melted on my lips and was just terrible and I was like, okay, don't put a gloss on it. Good to know for future reference. And then when I did it in this 30 and 30, I didn't put a gloss on it, but after about like an hour, maybe an hour and a half at the most, it just started melting on my lips and was just this gooey mess and I had to wipe it off and start over. It was terrible. I would not recommend it whatsoever. Don't buy it. It's terrible. Um, one, this is another one that is a good formula though. This is the Smashbox um, driver seat. I got this in my Sephora play as well, um, a different month obviously. And after that terrible fiasco with the Dirty Little Secret, I was like, I want something that I know will be good. Um, it's a nice shade. I don't like it quite as much as Babe Alert, but I do think it is a good shade. Um, this next one, I'm actually not even sure if they still sell this because I was going through and I found it and I was like, oh, well that will fit. And, and this is the Buxom and it is a wildly whipped soft matte lip color and it is very much like the same formula as that NARS Bound but it's a much thicker formula it doesn't dry down um, it's kind of moussey like the tarp um, but it doesn't dry down and I do think this is a pretty shade but it doesn't last very well on your lips it's not I think the glosses from Buxom are much better I did get this um, at Ulta because I thought the color was pretty and I was like ooh, um, I really like the lip glosses but I don't think it's a good investment. Um, I would definitely do look at um, other things. This one is another um, ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip. This is in the color Tuesday, and I got this one in my glossy box for April, and they had so much in that box. We got like two of the, two of the ColourPops. Um, that might have been where I got Chandelier, come to think of it. But anyway, we got two of uh, the ColourPop Lippies in it. And this is one, and it's just a bright, fun shade. It doesn't, like it's similar, but it's much brighter on the um, swatch than it is in the tube. So, like I said before, keep that in mind when you're using um, ColourPop. They're not always true to what they look like on um, screen or in the tube. Um, another one that I got in my Tuesday, or not my Tuesday, and I think this is in a boxy charm. This is the Bella Pierre Kiss Proof Lip Cream. You might have seen people talking about this when it came. This is a beautiful shade. I really like the shade. Um, it actually reminds me of the NARS Bound. It's quite similar. You can see it right there. Um, don't like this formula. It's sticky, so when you go like this with your lips, it sticks and then it like peels slowly apart, which is really odd um, to me. And it just didn't last very well. It does have a nice scent to it. It has like the strawberry vanilla scent, vanilla -y scent. So I do like that aspect of it, but I definitely would not recommend buying this. This is one of the duds that I found. Um, Dirty Little Secret is definitely the worst. Um, then I would probably put this one and then um, the Mega La or Cat Liquid Cat Suits um, after that. Another one that I didn't really like um, is the Bobbi Brown. This is the Artist Stick. Um, and this is in the shape English Rose, which is just a beautiful name. But this is like a weird one because you have to squeeze it to get the liquid out. There you can see just a little bit. Um, so it was messy to apply, which I didn't like. 
Um, the staying power is okay, but the applicator just is terrible. This was a sample size that I got from Sephora with, you know, you get to choose a gift when you, with your codes. But I just, I did not like it. Um, and I didn't like this next one either, which is really terrible because I hit like three duds right in a row. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick. And I got the shade Clara. I got it for two reasons. One, I'm a dancer. Um, so the Nutcracker has always been like something that I really love. So Clara from the Nutcracker. But also my aunt, I had a great aunt Clara that I really loved um, and loved visiting her very much. But this liquid, I don't like this formula at all. Um, I know it's super cheap, but it did not last. It Same kind of problem as um, the Dirty Little Secret. It didn't melt off, but it just, the formula didn't sit well on the lips and it just kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it kind of like flaked off. It was just, it was not a good formula. Um, there's other cheap brands or, ch you know, more inexpensive brands is the word I was looking for, um, that have better um, formulas than this. So I would not recommend BH Cosmetics either. Um, the next one I have is from Too Faced. This is one of the melted chocolates. This is the color Chocolate Milkshake. I think I got this from a 500 point perk from um, Sephora. And that's what it looks like. It, you can see it's already kind of like spurting out there. It is a nice color. It is not normally a color I would gravitate towards buying, um, but I do like it. And it smells like chocolate, which is always wonderful. The problem with the Too Faced melted lipsticks are not the melted matte so much, but the melted that are in this tube is that they're not consistent. Um, I got several of these from Too Faced. I did a big order with them and I got them and some of them were really runny. They just like oozed out everywhere. Some of them had like an oil, like it separated. So like I went through and I squeezed them all and I shook them and I like pounded them, um, trying to get them to mix back together. And I emailed them about it and they were like, oh, well you can't return them. It's your, it's basically they told me it was my problem and they never answered me if this was um, something wrong with the formula, if they were a defect. So. I, for one, would never buy um, from Too Faced's web website again because just horrible customer service and never really answering the question that I had or addressing the concerns, selling products that obviously, like, I don't know if I can even use some of them because they're so, like, oozy and goopy. Um, so the nice thing about these, though, if you buy them at Ulta or Sephora, if they are defective, you can take them back. So I definitely say buy Too Faced at a store or Macy's carries them too. Um, they do a lot of sales at Macy's too. Buy them at a store, don't buy them from Too Faced um, because you never know what formula you're gonna get. Um, the next one I have up is um, Moxie Mauve by Elizabeth Mott and the, it is Color is Bay liquid or lip lacquer is what it's called. Um, this one is okay. It's, I don't think it's a great formula. I don't think it's a terrible formula. It's just kind of in between an eh formula, not something I would necessarily recommend or um, steer you against. So that's what it looks like right there. Um, I'm going to have to clean these off again, but I will be back in just a minute. All right, and I got my hand cleaned off again. It's getting harder to get all of the swatches off. Um, the next one I got is actually something that they sell at Walmart. It is the Hard Candy Metallic Mousse um, Matte Metallic Lip Color. And I actually really like this. This was in the shade Queen of Hearts. Um, if you watched my drugstore haul, you probably saw me struggling to get this open. Um, I did buy this because of the name, because I love Alice in Wonderland and the Queen of Hearts. But it is a nice formula. I definitely think for the money, this is a good formula. I like the metallic, um, how it wears as well. So Hard Candy gets a seal of approval. I really liked that. Um, this next one was okay. This isn't my favorite formula, but I don't think it's a terrible formula either. It is the MAC, I've already swatched it. I'm getting ahead of myself. It is the MAC, Rec, MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color in Fashion Legacy. So that's what it looks like. This is what it looks like swatched. It is a nice red color. Um, it's, 
I don't know. I would be interested in trying it in different colors because this is not like, I don't wear a lot of bright reds. Um, and I feel a little awkward when I do. So I feel like if I got it in a sh lighter shade, um, something more neutral, something more pinky, I might like it a lot better. Um, the next thing that I have is actually a set of two. And I got this at Kohl's actually. And this is the Academy of Color Metallic Liquid Lipstick. And it came with a um, lip liner as well. And this, um, they look like Kylie lip kits kind of when you find them at the, they're at the little register, like the impulse buys at the register. And they had a um, eyeshadow palette and then a highlighting palette. And I'm kicking myself for not getting those because those are like, $6.99 or not this was like $6.99 um they were like $12.99 or $14.99 which I thought was a great deal and they looked nice but I wanted to try this first and I actually really like this I think it was a very nice um, investment especially for the price so that's what the lip liner looks like this is in the color Cupid's Kiss which is kind of a fun name it is sheer but once you um put the you know line your lips and then put the lipstick over it. I thought it was pretty nice. I would definitely try more of the metallics. They had mattes as well, and I think glosses as well, but um, I haven't found them since then. They sold out really fast, unfortunately. So if you're, your Kohl's has them, or maybe online, I never shop online at Kohl's because you have to spend like 75 before you get free shipping, um, which is just dangerous at Kohl's. Um, so yeah, I think Academy Colors was a really good, like, affordable brand. Um, this next one is Lime Crime. This is the color Cashmere. I got this in a Ipsy Deals, and I have since started reading about problems that the company has had and, like, controversies around them, and I probably would not buy anything. I wasn't ultra impressed with this. I mean, the shade is nice enough, but I don't think... It's something that I'm like, I don't care if they have iffy business practices and they're not the greatest to their customers. Um, no, that still matters to me. And especially like it's such, it's not, it's an average product. Product. I don't think it's really incredible. Um, this next one I think is incredible though. This is the Marc Jacobs La Creme or Le Marc Liquid Lip Creme. And this is in the shade Shush Blush. So that's what the color looks like right there. I got this at the VIB sale. This was my splurge at the last minute. Um, I, it smells good too. I love Marc Jacobs. Um, his formula is amazing. This is not long lasting. This is not a matte by any means, but it is, it's everything that you would want from like a lip creme. A lip cream a liquid lip cream it's a beautiful color it wears really nicely it reapplies really nicely um, I have infamous in his um, regular lipsticks and that is like my favorite um, shade but I love this this is very similar actually so definitely if you get like a Sephora gift card or when there's the next sale buy that buy some Marc Jacobs lipsticks either liquid or not liquid you all thank me. Um, it's fantastic. Um, this next one I've kind of talked about, I talked about in an Ulta haul a while ago um, and how different the color is than what it showed on the package. This was supposed to be like a nudie color and this is definitely not nude whatsoever. This is Makeup Revolution. What color was this? Let me check. A grande. Um, so that's what the lipstick looks like. It did come with a lip, a lip liner, again, kind of copying off of Kylie's kits. Um, that is what the um, lip liner looks like. Here is what the lipstick looks like. It, I love pink, like pink is my favorite color. You can see my lovely umbrella back there. But I do not want to wear that color on my lips. It just looks, sickening it's and I didn't like the formula either um it was like it wasn't the greatest formula I think hard candy and color pop were much better for the price I even think I like the um liquid cat suit better from wet and wild than I did this formula um and definitely like color wise 
Ugh, that is not the color that you were advertising whatsoever. I will link that video down below so you can see that unboxing and be like, oh, that, yeah, that sticker does not match whatsoever. Um, we're almost done. We have three more shades, uh, three more uh, lipsticks left. This next one is one I loved. This is um, Kat Von D. This is another liquid lipstick, and this is in the color Love Sick. This was another sale. I'm um, like, you know, you could have your code at Sephora and you get the free lipstick. Um, so that's what the color it is. It's just like a really nice pinky nude color. Um, works for every day. I think it's fantastic. I actually um, went away at the very end of April and that was one of the lipsticks that I took with me, which was great. Um, I wasn't sick of it by the end of the trip. Like I brought three shades and I was there for a week and I didn't need any other shades. Um, the next one I brought was another one of my favorites. This is Queen Bee, um, that's upside down, by Too Faced Melted Matte. This is a fantastic shade. Um, it is a little more purpley than that Lovesick, but I love it. Um, I also have Granny Panties and Child Star. And Child Star, you have to have a certain look because it is a very nudie nude. Um, and Granny Panties is a little gray. Um, but it is very similar to Queen Bee. I do, I like this formula a lot, as I mentioned when I was talking about Lady Balls. And then my last one is the Tartiste Lip Paint by Tarte. This is the special edition Festival. The shade is called Festival. Um, this is not as moussey as the other one. This is their more um, liquid, liquidy, liquidy formula. Look at that. It looks so similar. I don't they are different, I swear, um, but I really do. I don't like this formula quite as much as um, the moussey one, but I do think like Tarte, hands down, is one of my favorites. Like if I had to choose just a couple of these brands to do liquid lipsticks, um, Marc Jacobs definitely, um, not a matte liquid lipstick by any means, but Too Faced, their melted matte, the Tarte um, Liquid Matte and Smashbox would probably be the ones that I choose because I really just enjoyed all of those formulas. Um, I hope this was helpful. I hope you um, kind of got an idea about different formulas that you would like to try or ones that you would like to avoid. Hopefully um, that helps because that is that my goal with this. Also, it helps because then I don't, well, I have a lot of lipsticks obviously because this was just liquid lipsticks that I did this month instead of um, just lipsticks in general. I will, I have a couple more to film of these 30 and 30s. I need to get caught up because I didn't film any in May. Um, so I need to do my perfume. I have a per two perfumes coming. I have one for April and then one for May. And I also have for May, I was wearing eyeliner. You can't really tell I have eyeliner on today, but you might have noticed weird eyeliner going on. I don't usually wear a lot of eyeliner, so definitely took me out of my comfort zone for that. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you look for those, and um, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.